Windows 11 is finally getting the facelift it deserves. We are talking about version 25H2, and Microsoft is secretly testing a brand new modern run box, updated system dialogues, and a fresh voice typing experience. The best part, these features are hidden inside the latest dev and beta builds right now. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock them. To get started, we're going to use a community favorite, Vive tool. This is a tiny utility that lets us toggle hidden feature flags. Head over to the official Vive tool GitHub. Download the latest zip file. Extract that folder to somewhere easy to find. I usually just put it right on my C drive in a folder called Vive tool. Now, for the hacker part, don't worry, it's simple. Open your command prompt as an administrator. First, we need to point CMD to the folder where you extracted Vive tool. Type CD followed by your file path. Now, let's drop the magic codes for the modern run box run this command. This replaces that 20-year-old legacy box with a sleek rounded UI that matches Windows 11's design language. Run this command for the new change account type. Dialog, Microsoft is moving more legacy control panel items into the modern settings app. To see the new dialog, use this command. The new voice typing keyboard, lastly, for a better touch keyboard experience, run this command. Now go ahead and restart your PC Now head into settings, then systems, advanced, then enable. The new run dialog box, it is not enabled by default. Now look at this. When I hit Windows plus R, we no longer have that old school Windows XP era run box popping up. Nope, Microsoft finally ditched it. Check this out. It's clean, it's modern, and yes, it finally supports dark mode perfectly if dark mode is enabled. No more bright white box blinding you at night. And here's the cool part. The new run box now shows the full history of the commands you've run before. So if you're always launching things like CMD, registry, edit, they're all right there for you. And while you're typing, it also gives you live suggestions. So the moment you start entering a command, Windows intelligently predicts what you're trying to launch. If you head into settings, accounts, you'll notice something new. When you click on change account type, the whole thing finally looks way more, well, Windows 11. Everything matches the Windows 11 design language now. No more outdated Windows 7 style pop-ups breaking the vibe. All right, check this out. Microsoft is also updating the voice typing experience when you're using the touch keyboard. And honestly, this feels so much better now. Um, on a virtual machine, so cannot show you this feature. So before, when you tap the dictation key, Windows would throw this big full screen overlay in your face. It worked, but it kind of felt clunky and distracting, right? Well, now that's gone. The new design is way more streamlined and way more intuitive. Instead of taking over your whole screen, the voice typing animation happens right on the dictation key itself. 25H2 is shaping up to be the consistency 
update we've been asking for. What do you think of the new run box? Is it a win or do you prefer the classic look? Let me know in the comments. If this helped you out, smash that like button and subscribe for more Windows tips and hidden features. I'll see you in the next one.